I'm back! Did you miss me? I know I missed you too. It's been a while since I did my last Azure haul video. So I have another one for you. Our drop was at 8 a.m. this morning. That means I had to leave my house by 7.30 and I was running late as usual because I am not a morning person. So I didn't get anything filmed before I left the house but I did get some beautiful leaves on my drive out there, so I'll put those on the end of this video. So if you like looking at leaves, if you're down in the south where the leaves don't change, what I'll do is I'll add that to the end of the video so you can see the drive out there to pick up my order. You can see all the beautiful leaves that are changing because we're in New England and it is where everybody comes up to see the leaves change. So now that we're home with everything, before I get into what I ordered and why I ordered it, I wanted to take some time to explain how Azure works and what Azure is. So Azure Standard is what I say is like Whole Foods and Costco had a baby. I save a ton of money because I'm able to buy in bulk. Now, before you switch off, let me explain. You don't have to buy in bulk. You can buy small quantities of agar agar powder, or you can buy 20 pound boxes of delicata squash. So you can buy as little or as much as you want. The reason I buy in bulk though is because the more I buy, the more I save. And for me, this is food insurance. If Brian loses his job, we have bulk food stored up that we could live off of this food for several months until we're able to get back on our feet. So for me, this is food insurance. Also buying in bulk locks in the lower prices. So I'm not only am I saving because I'm buying in bulk, I'm saving because I'm buying in bulk and I've now bought that product to last us for the next year, two years, if some of it is shelf stable enough for two years. And with inflation, with the prices of things going up, flour, the price of flour is, is going up and it's, it's getting to the point where it's almost doubled in price now. Well, because I buy 25 pound bags when I buy my flour, I've locked in that lower price. If I buy a 50 pound bag, you know, if I buy 50 pounds, I've locked that price in and that is going to last us for a while so that hopefully when inflation starts to calm down and we don't have these massive spikes that we're seeing and we start seeing things on sale, well, I have my food stored and put away so that we're not as affected by inflation. So I hope that that makes sense on why we buy in bulk. So if you've never heard of Azure, let me explain to you how it works. I do have an affiliate code and I have it link, I'll have it linked down below in the description. So I would love for you to use my affiliate link and what that does is that tells Azure that I sent you to them and they do, they do look at it and see it, how many people I send every month if I am talking about them. So it just helps our family out. And if you do buy $100 or more, it helps our family too because we get a $25 credit for everybody that spends $100 or more. And guess what? You can do that too. So if you start buying from Azure and you like it, if you tell your family, so if you tell your Aunt Nancy, hey, you know what? I know you're into healthy food. Let me tell you about this company. And she orders and she spends $100. Well, now you get $25 because you referred her. So it's a great program that not only is beneficial to me, but it's beneficial to you too. So we would love it if you would use our affiliate link because it does help our family to afford some of our groceries. So if you could do that, if this is your first time ordering from Azure and you could use that link, I would appreciate it. So that being said, let me get into how this works. So first things first, you're gonna go down below into that description and you're gonna click on to my affiliate link. Once you click onto my affiliate link, you're gonna create an account. 
It's free, it doesn't cost you any money. You can even opt out of the emails. You do not have to receive any promotional emails. It's great to receive them because then you know it's on sale um, and you know what's happening. Like for example, Azure had a fire. So they let us know when they had a fire that some of the things were affected and what was affected and what we could see that potentially would be out of stock in future orders. <clears throat> that is something that I want to talk about too before I go any further is there is one downfall with Azure. The way their system works is when you place your order, you're going to you're going to place your order when your what they call your cart closes. So there's a specific day that your order closes. Well, uh, within a week to two weeks, they're packing up your order. And what was in their website two weeks ago may have spoiled. It may not be available. So if you've ever ordered from Instant Cart, Instacart or any of those grocery shopping services where you put something in your cart and then when the picker goes to pick it, whoops, it's not there. It's kind of the same thing, but it's a bit frustrating when you're planning on 25 pounds of carrots coming in and you don't get that 25 pounds of carrots and you can't order again until the next month. Now, that is the con. Let me tell you about all the great things though that Azure does have to offer. So when you create your account, you're going to pick your drop. Since they don't have stores, you're cutting out the middleman, which means you're saving money because you don't have to pay for that brick and mortar stores for their lease. So you're not having to pay their rents with the price with the prices that they have for that store those prices are to cover their employees and to cover their rent and yes theft they up their prices because people steal so unfortunately that gets passed along to you well with azure you don't really have that so because you're meeting the truck you're cutting out the middleman so the way it works is you go to a drop and at your drop you're going to meet your truck you get your groceries, the, the semi truck pulls up, they open up the truck. Now every drop is different and the way that ours, I can't tell you how the way, the way that yours runs, but I can tell you the way ours runs. Your drop is coordinated by somebody local to you. So that means that your drop may be run differently than mine. Your drop may be run the same as mine. The way that mine works is when I pull up, I meet the truck and we all get into a line and we help unload the truck. We help everybody out. It makes things go a whole lot faster and a whole lot smoother. We get in line, we grab a box, we look at the name. Each box has a label on the top of it. Everything is already boxed up for you. You don't need to bring shopping bags. Everything is already in boxes and they, you, they recycle boxes. So some of my boxes that I got in my last order were Chick-fil-A fry boxes. I certainly didn't order Chick-fil-A fries but all of my groceries, they are phenomenal at packing the groceries into those boxes. They, the stuff that they can fit into those boxes amazes me. But you grab your boxes and you put them in the order alphabetically so that everybody, when they go through, when the truck is finally unloaded, you have piles and each pile is for each individual person. So you go, you find your pile, you make sure that everything is there. Then you load up your car and you come home. It is that simple. When you get home, you unload. I unloaded onto our table here. So now that I've unloaded all of our stuff, let me get into showing you what I bought and why I bought it. All right, we're gonna start off with these Stacy's tortillas. I got three packages of the Stacy's tortillas. I really like these because they have very clean ingredients in them. The only things that are in this is organic whole wheat flour, um, water, organic sunflower oil, baking powder, salt, and citric acid. You don't have the laundry list of um, preservatives like you do in the tortillas that you get from the grocery store. So these are the eight inch tortillas I do already have some of the, I believe they're 12 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, I'm not sure how big they are. Whatever the biggest size they come in, I have some of those already in the freezer. Because these don't have the preservatives, you do keep these in the freezer. So you just pull them out the night before you wanna use them and thaw them, or what we do, if I forget, because I'm notorious for forgetting stuff, I wrap them in a wet towel, like a damp towel, and put them into the oven to steam. It steams them, makes them nice and soft, 
and they're great for wraps. Those tortillas are, I paid $11.86 for the three pack of the tortillas. This is the aluminum free baking powder. This is an eight ounce container. This does not contain aluminum. A lot of the baking powder that you get in the grocery store, the standard baking powder does contain aluminum. So this one does not. I, I'll let you do your own research on it, but we are trying to eliminate aluminum and things like deodorants and some of the baking products so that we can live a little bit healthier. Um, the baking powder, the non-aluminum baking powder was $4.76 for that container. This is five pounds of organic corn flour. We're going to use this to make corn flour pancakes. We're going to make a ton of cornbread to go with all the chilies and soups that are coming up for the fall weather. So I stocked up and got five pounds of corn flour. The corn flour was $5.95 for the five pound bag. So I thought that was a pretty good price on this. I got four packs of the Follow Your Heart Dairy Free Sour Cream. These are 16 ounces. And this by far is one of my favorite sour creams. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Forager. I did buy the Forager and tried out the Forager brand. For me, it was a little too tangy, almost like a Greek yogurt flavor to it. This one tastes more like a traditional sour cream. I do try to do things whole food plant-based, but sometimes mama needs a cheat, and this is a great cheat. The ingredients are fairly clean, not as clean as homemade, but all things considered for a quote-unquote processed food, this is pretty clean. So we got four of these to make dinner nights a little bit easier because this is my busy season um, for work. So for the four of them, it was $23.94 for four packs of the Follow Your Heart Sour Cream. These are organic whole cranberries. What I plan to do with these is I plan to can these up and make our own cranberry juice and then when we do our own cranberry juice, you're also going to see apples from a, from a separate haul from a local orchard. But what I plan to do is I plan to make cranberry juice and I plan to make apple juice and then I'll mix them together and make cranberry apple juice. After I've canned these up the first time, I you can strain out the cranberries. I'll do a video showing how to do it, but you can strain out the cranberries, pop them back in your freezer, and then when you get, say, two jars, you can then recan those up and make a second batch of cranberry juice. So I'm going to be using these for cranberry juice. You could also take the scraps of cranberries and you can then turn them into your cranberry sauce, cranberry jellies for Thanksgiving because we do have Thanksgiving coming up. These are on sale right now, so now is the time to stock up. Keep them in your freezer. You can make you can make cranberry juice for the entire year by stocking up on these. I got three this time around, and our order for my next drop closes on Halloween, so I do already have an entire box um, in the order for next month. You'll see that too because I am trying to can up while they're on sale, I'm going to try to can up a year's worth of cranberry juice. So for the three pack with this sale, the three pack was $9.18. For organic cranberries, I could not find a better price in our local stores. So I thought that this was a really good deal. One pack split in half, we'll do two jars of cranberry juice. So with this, I'm going to get six jars of, six pints of cranberry juice. This little packet is agar agar powder. I do have some that I ordered off of Amazon and I do find it to be a bit grainy and it didn't thicken up as much as I wanted it to. And the more I added, the grainier it seemed. So I wanted to try a different brand. This one was on sale last month. So when my cart closed, 
This was still on sale. So I grabbed this to try this one out to see if this agar agar powder would be a little less grainy. Try it out, see if we like this one a bit better. This is a replacement for gelatin for people who are plant-based. Gelatin, if you don't know, gelatin is a derivative of beef. So for vegans, plant-based, um, this is a great alternative to gelatin and this comes from seaweed. So we're gonna try this one out. <clears throat> it is a Japanese vegetable gelatin. Um, it comes from red algae. And you can take this as a one-to-one -one replacement. So if there is a recipe that you find, say on Pinterest and it calls for gelatin, you can, it says on here, you can replace this one-to-one. -one. Now my last package also said that and I didn't feel like it set up enough for me, it didn't really turn jello-y. And then I added more the next time around I made it and then it was really grainy. So we're gonna try this one to see how we like it. I'll let you know, I'll do a couple recipes. I'll let you know what I think of this one um, and let you know if this is really truly a one-to-one. -one. Uh, this is a two ounce package. It was on sale for $7.62. This is not the cheapest agar agar powder that I found, but on sale, it was a good price and I figured it was worth trying because some of the cheaper ones, like I said, do con did come out kind of grainy. So we're gonna try this one. All right, next I have a 20 pound box of delicata squash. I'm not pulling out the entire box, but this is a delicata squash. And for the 20 pound box of delicata squash, it was $26.25. You've got some little guys in there, but you also have some pretty good sized squash in there too. So you can make stuffed squash with these, you can make squash fries. What's great about the delicata squash is you can eat the whole thing. Unlike other squash, you cannot eat the skins. The delicata squash, if you wash it and cut it up, you can eat the entire thing. You can eat the skins, the inside. I wouldn't eat the seeds or the, the stem part, but the rest of it's fair game. Put it in the oven with a little bit of oil, some seasoning, you are good to go. You can eat the whole thing. You're not wasting any of that squash. I got three cans of condensed coconut milk. This is sweetened condensed coconut milk. What I plan to do with these is I do have from Azure, I do have an allergy friendly chocolate, the chocolate chips that you can melt down. So those are naturally vegan. Um, so what I plan to do with these is I do plan to make some of our holiday fudge with the sweetened condensed coconut milk. Also, I plan to do some almond joy candy. Um, with the cho with the chocolates, uh, take some sweetened condensed milk and some coconut shreds. I bought coconut shreds and an almond. You can you combine the sweetened condensed milk with your coconut shreds, and then you place an almond on top. Then you drop it in chocolate. I'll do a video on that showing how I'm going to make those. But that's my plan for these. And then the third one probably is going to go to fudge. Don't really know. But these were on sale, so I bought three of them because I figured they would come in handy for holiday baking, or not baking in this case. <laughs> um, for the three of those, it was $9.44 with them being on sale. I got four containers of the Coconut Bliss ice cream. These were also on sale, so I got the four containers. This is an organic plant-based ice cream. And with the sale, this actually comes out to be cheaper than Ben and Jerry's. So these are kind of soft. They've been sitting out for a while with us trying to film. My camera kept wanting to turn itself off. So these are a bit soft. I do need to get these back into the freezer. But this one is the sea salt chocolate caramel flavor. And for the four pack, See, I paid $20.14 for the four pack. So I thought that was a really, really good deal because it comes out cheaper for the pint than Ben and & Jerry's. And I always impulse buy 
Ben and Jerry's when I have a sweets craving. So these will be nice to have as a treat in the freezer so I don't impulse buy Ben and Jerry's. And like I said, I bought coconuts. Um, I bought this coconut so that we could do the all enjoy candies. I also bought this coconut because we like to do energy bites and I roll them around in coconut and this is unsweetened organic coconut. And this is a five pound bag of the organic coconut. You can also make macaroons, not to be confused with macarons, which is almond, but you can make macaroons with these as well. And this five pound, I can smell it through the bag. It smells so good. This five pound bag of shredded coconut and my phone just moved, sorry. Um, this, oh sorry, 2.5 pounds. This is two and a half pounds, not five pounds. Two and a half pounds bag of coconut was $8.93 for this two and a half pound bag of coconut. I got three pounds of cream of tartar powder. I own a cookie decorating business. I go through a lot of cream of tartar and this is the best price that I can find it and it's in bulk. These are non-GMO. They are not organic, but that's okay. They're non-GMO, which most of the time means they just haven't gone through the certification. So for the three pack of cream of tartar for three pounds, it was $27.21 for three pounds of cream of tartar. Next we have the taco seasoning. And this is a one pound bag of taco seasoning for $8.73. Um, with doing a lot of freezer cooking, I plan to do a lot of freezer cooking because with me doing a cookie business. This is my busy season. So we do a lot of taco meals, taco soups, and that way it just makes an easy grab and go Tuesday. We don't have to think about it. Taco Tuesday. We can grab something that's kind of in the Mexican genre, put it in the, put it in the oven, put it in the crock pot, and it is ready to go. So I got one pound of taco seasoning. I got five pounds, I got five pounds of garlic. And what I plan to do with the garlic, a lot of it is going into freezer cooking. Garlic will stay good for several months. And it is time to plant garlic in the garden. So I do plan on taking some of these cloves and planting them in the garden so that way in the spring, we have our own fresh garlic out of our garden. And for the five pound bag, it was $39.90. This is a 10 pound bag of red onions. These things are huge. I don't know if you can see them through the bag, how big they are, but these are some of the biggest onions I have ever seen. So I plan to do a lot of freezer cooking meals with these. I plan on storing quite a bit of these, freezing some of them already chopped up to make quick grab and go meal prep. Um, but yeah, red onions, 10 pounds of red onions. That cost me $24.90. And you can take the skins from your red onions, take the ends, take the skins, save them in your freezer and you can make uh, your own vegetable broth. This is a 10 pound bag of yellow onions. This 10 pound bag was $16.75. Same thing, plan to chop a whole bunch of this up, freeze it so that it's easy meal prep. I plan on putting some of this into some of our freezer meals. Some of it will be stored and I will be saving the skins when we use these, saving the skins to make our veggie broth. Next up is this produce box. It is a surprise box every month. The last time I ordered it, I ordered it in December, got it in January. Not that I wasn't impressed with it. There was a lot of stuff in there, but it was January. Nothing was really growing. So it was just kind of random odds and ends and a lot of the stuff in there, like the celery root, it was just really hard to figure out what to do with that stuff so that it didn't go bad. 
So I figured I would give it another shot and order it in the summer. Well, it's now the end of the summer. So let's open up our box and see what we got. We got some more onions. Cutest little baby zucchinis. Garlic. Sweet potatoes. Oranges, and this orange has kind of a bad spot on it, but that's okay. Uh, the, otherwise, they're doing pretty good. got some celery, organic celery. We've got a um, <laughs> pepper, green pepper. We have a pineapple and we have a bag of pears. Um, it doesn't say, but if I had to guess, it's probably about a five pound bag of pears. So I will be preserving those up and canning them in juice, probably apple juice because we're going to have a ton of apple juice. So I'll probably can that up with apple juice to preserve it. And this produce box was $42. So the price on this did go up by $2, but I still think for $42 it is worth the price. I did order the number two carrots. I ordered the 25 pound bag of carrots. Unfortunately, when my order shipped, they didn't have those available. So it, I did put it on my order for next month. So hopefully those come in because I did have plans for them for the freezer meal. So that kind of stinks. The next thing that I have is one gallon of the stain and odor eliminator. What I plan to do with this is we have two puppies. I have a male Pomeranian who is insistent on marking right now, and we also have a rescue Siberian Husky who, when she came to us, wasn't 100% potty trained. So we're doing pretty good on accidents, on potty accidents, but we do still have occasional potty accidents. So this can be used on the furniture, it can also be used on our wood floors. You can use this in your laundry. If you have a son who is a football player and his clothes kind of stink, you can pre-treat them with this. It is an enzyme cleanser, so it is more natural than some of the other cleansers. And I really do feel like the other enzyme cleaners I've used worked really well. Um, they were just kind of expensive. So I wanted to give the Azure brand a try because it was about $5 less than the previous brand that I was using. And for a gallon of this, we will definitely use it in our house. For one gallon of the enzyme cleaner, it was $10.85. I have paid upwards of about $20 to $25 depending on the different enzyme cleaner claims. Um, some of them claim that they only work on carpet. Some claim that they only work on, that they're good for wood floors. So this one I can use on both and ultimately it will save me money if it works. So I will update you guys and let you know about that. All right, now you're gonna follow me down to the floor because I do have some food on the floor. All right, now that you're on the floor with me, let's get started down here. We have this 25 pound bag of organic brown basmati rice. And what I plan to do with this is I plan to store this one away. I do have, I think about five-ish pounds left upstairs in the kitchen pantry. So this is gonna go downstairs into our storage. Uh, we do a lot of poke bowls in our house, so this gets used a lot as poke bowls. I do a lot of steamed veggies as like a stir fry, so this rice gets used a lot as a stir fry rice as well. Cheesy rice, um, when I do my vegan cheese, I'll do my vegan cheese with some broccoli, and we put that over top 
of the rice. So we use a lot of rice in our house, rice and beans. I try to get creative with the use of our rice. So we go through a lot of rice. It's a 25 pound bag. And this 25 pound bag was $50 and $53 and four cents. The next bag here is a 25 pound bag of organic cane sugar. Organic cane sugar is a bit healthier for you. It is lower on the glycemic index and it doesn't, it's not bleached out and it's not a chemically produced sugar like your granulated table sugar that you see in the grocery store baking aisle. This 25 pound bag cost me $32.14. Since it is the holidays coming up, we have a lot of baking to do. This is going to be some well-loved sugar. If we end up with any leftover by the end of the holidays, I will be surprised. Okay, follow me over here. Next, we have a 50 pound bag of organic potatoes. One thing about potatoes is they are used as a soil cleanser. They are used in the off season when wheat and other products are used that use Roundup glyphosate when they're sprayed they will use a potato as a soil cleanser. So the potatoes are put in to clean out all the glyphosates in the soil so that they can then turn around and plant the next crop of wheat or oats or whatever that they um, plant. So having organic potatoes means that they don't do that. So you don't have to worry about your potatoes absorbing the glyphosates out of the soil. So for me, having organic potatoes is really important because I don't want us to consume glyphosates. So we have the 50 pound bag. We are going to be doing a lot of mashed potatoes with the holidays coming up. We are, again, freezer meals. I do au gratin potatoes. I can shred some of them up for hash browns and we'll be doing stuffed baked potatoes. We do baked potato bars. Um, and anything that does not get eaten if, is going to go down into our garage slash root cellar. And if it does happen to grow eyes and we don't eat through it fast enough, I will then use that as a seed potato in our garden next year. So every bit of this 50 pound bag is going to get used, but I bet you we end up eating through all 50 pounds of this before we ever need to plant it. All right, follow me back up to the table because I have another haul for you. Um, I don't think I gave you the price though on the potatoes. So let me look up the price on the 50 pound bag of potatoes. 50 pound bag of potatoes was $62.25. So there are 10 five pound bags in this one bag. I found that this was slightly cheaper than ordering bulk 50 pounds by doing the 10 five pound bags. So if you are looking to order from Azure, if you're looking to order this, I will link it, but get the 10 five pound bags. It does come out to be slightly cheaper than ordering the 50 pounds by itself. All right, follow me back up to the table for our next haul. I stopped at our local orchard and they had apple second. So the orchard does a pick your own. And so a lot of times when people go through and pick the apples, sometimes some of the apples fall to the ground. They go through and they pick up any of the apples that fell to the ground. They sort through them and bag them up. So they offered these on a really good discount at the orchard. So these were, this, these bags were uh, about a dollar a pound. So these are 10 pound bags. Uh, so these were about $10. I pick, I went back today and picked these up. These are Honeycrisp and these were marked $14.95 for the 10 pound bag. But when I got up to the register, they rang up at $9.45. So I have 110 
pounds of apples. We will be doing a video of all of our preserving of apples, but we will be making applesauce, apple chips, apple juice, apple cider, apple cider vinegar, um, apple jelly, apple butter, um, lots of apple products so we're gonna be can we're gonna be doing a lot of canning so I'm gonna take you guys along on that journey with me when we preserve the 110 pounds of apples I did order two boxes of the seconds apples from Azure unfortunately they didn't ship and then when I happened to see the good deal at my local orchard this actually worked out to be a better deal for me and it was local so that was great. These are organic apples. They just don't go through the expense of the certification to be organic. So that's good enough for our family. That's fine. I know where they're grown and I know how they're grown. We did grow pumpkins in our yard this year. I got three of the sugar pie pumpkins, um, but we had some critters get into them. The squirrels absolutely loved them. They did scatter the seeds all over our front yard. So right now we have a pumpkin patch growing in our front yard, but I don't think any pumpkins are going to come in before they get frozen out. So I did stop and pick up some more sugar pie pumpkins because I only ended up out of the three that grew on my plants. I only ended up with one and the plant was a volunteer plant from last year in our front yard. So it didn't cost me any work, it didn't cost me any money, it was just a free pumpkin, it owed me nothing. But I did stop at the um, at a, one of the other local farmers markets and our farm stands and I did pick up about 30 pounds of pumpkin. So we are going to can some of this up. We I already pureed the one that I had so that it didn't go bad so quick. Um, because that one was done and ready to go in the beginning of August. So there's no way it would have stayed fresh until now. So I went ahead and preserved that one up already. But we do have 30 pounds of pumpkin. So now that it is pumpkin season, we're going to be doing a lot of recipes with pumpkin. I got some baking dishes. These are casserole dishes with the snap tight lids. So these are great for freezer meals because I can take my freezer meals, put them into the glass dish, the glass casserole dishes, snap the lid on, put them down in the freezer and they're easier to stack than doing some of the other aluminum dishes, which we're trying to avoid aluminum, as I said. But when you take the aluminum and you wrap it in aluminum foil, you wrap it up in saran wrap and then you put it down in the freezer. You have to wait for it to firm up before you can put anything on top of it and it creates a lot of waste. So I did get two packages of these casserole dishes. I do plan on buying some more. I've also been scouring thrift shops for some of these as well. Haven't found any, but I'm on the, I'm on the lookout for these. These are going to be great for our freezer meals. Then the last thing that we bought is a 120 pack of the OXO, the OXO, however you say it, containers. These are going to be going into our pantry. We have issues with pantry moths and even though I've put bay leaves in there, I've used glass containers. The pantry moths and their little worms can get into the glass containers. The only thing that I found that they cannot get into are these OXO, OXO, however you want to say it, containers. They are airtight and they do keep the bugs out. So we got some more of these containers to swap out our glass jars and put the um, <clears throat> put some of the stuff that's in glass jars into these. So. Any of our dates, the dates had, I had to throw away about 10 pounds of dates because they had the little worms in there. 
I lost some of the nuts. I do keep most of my nuts in the freezer, but I do have some that are out of the freezer. Won't be doing that again because I had to throw away quite a bit of nuts as well. So I'm hoping switching over to this will keep the bugs at bay and we won't have pantry moths come next spring. Thank you guys so much for coming along on our Azure haul with me and I really appreciate it. If you guys could do all of the YouTube-y things, the like, the subscribe, leave me a comment in the comment section. If you made it this far, can you give me, leave me a comment and tell me where you're watching from. I would love to know where you're watching from. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.